cherished customers, those two old codgers over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're going away. Well, somewhere hot and foreign anyway. So we're having a party, so make sure you all enjoy yourselves, or else. Oh, Grant, I'm so proud of you. Why? Because it's 7.30 and you still haven't nutted anybody in the kneecaps or shoved a snooker cue up anybody's nose or bought the whole cup of your stupid cockney rhyming slang. Are you feeling all right? Well, now that you mention it, I am feeling a bit dizzy. Oh, come here. Oi, don't push your luck. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> It never ceases to amaze me how downright stupid the average bloke in the street is. I mean, now listen, right? We all watch telly, don't we? Yes, we do. Now, now, look, don't they know it's only pretend? Listen, <laughs> let's take take the shredded wheat advert, right? Three shredded wheat, I've eaten ten in one go. <laughs> Mind you, I couldn't move, but I'll tell you what, what about them soaps, eh? Oh, look, my mum, she watches all of them soaps. She even talks to the telly. I'll tell you what, when that dirty den, when he died in that canal, she was down there the next day with her snorkel, with her flippers, and she can't even swim. I said to her, I says, Mum, I says, don't be such a div. It's actors playing a part. <laughs> Here, cut, mate. <laughs> oh. I wish I was going somewhere rotten foreign. <laughs> Why is that, then, Paul? Because I'm fed up with life. <laughs> Every week it's the same thing. Something wrong with Arthur Martin, Shell or Mark. Well, I'm sick of it. I want to break free from this endless cycle of worry and misery. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I want to be a free, crazy, unpredictable spirit. I want to burn my cardigan and run naked down the beach saying, take me now or lose me forever. Oh, no. How about a nice cup of tea? Oh, smash it. Grant! <laughs> Drinks! You big fluffy bunny. <laughs> On the ass. <laughs> Cuthbert, you did remember to tell the milkman that we're going away, didn't you? Yes. Well, no. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Either you tell the milkman or you don't. Well, I was going to tell him, but you see, I went down to the bookie shop. And... Oh, I don't believe it, Cuthbert. I can't trust you to do anything. Not a living thing you had to do. I done the packing, I booked the taxi to the airport, I changed the money, I iron your clothes, I cook your food, I wash your dirty, smelly brief. Well, you're supposed to do that. You're my wife, that's your job. Excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. But you're a lucky man to have a devoted wife like this. Oh. Uh, what is your name, dear lady? Clarissa Antoine. Clarissa Antoine. Oh, you are a beautiful flower in the marital bed. Oh, and who are you? Percy Frog? <laughs> no, no, no. I am a man of experience. I have green fingers. A woman like this should be fertilized with rays of love and, and affection. Oh. Not like an old bag of manure. <laughs> uh, can I get you a drink? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, speaking of manure, I remember when I was a landscape gardener at Buckingham Palace. Now, them corgis, right? They uh, what? I am fed up with you and your pathetic little lies. What? 
every oh. week I've got to sit oh. here and listen to you twitter oh. on about how you know this oh. pizza and that girl oh. and it's all a load of rubbish. No, 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 because I'm an international concert pianist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am. Prove it, prove it. All right, all right. Dirty brief. <laughs> Forgive me. It's a song. What? Well, I knew that. <laughs> Come on, boy, play the music. 